Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. So I've been using the Apple Card for uh, over a week, nearly two weeks now, and I've had enough time to spend money on it, to get to know it, and to talk about it. So this is why the Apple Card is so cool. Maybe not necessarily why it's right for you, but what makes it so appealing. So the ease to apply. I really don't think that there's any other credit card out there that's as simple to apply to as the Apple Card. Literally in the wallet app that is already on your phone, you click a couple buttons and in a few seconds you have a yes or no answer. There's really no bells or whistles about it. I know plenty of people who have made this their first credit card, that they've never had a credit card, but because of this, because of its simplicity, because of its nativity with the Apple app and their iPhones, that they just went ahead and applied for it. Because worst case scenario, you get denied or you get accepted and don't redeem the card. There's really no risk of at least applying for it. So it's simple, it's quick, and it's clear. It's not confusing. You don't really have to do any guessing, and the application process is instant. I remember when I applied for my first credit card, I had to give them a lot of information, a lot of different accounts, and I had to wait for a decision and then for it to ship out. With this, I applied. I was in a matter of seconds approved, and then I could start spending using Apple Pay, and of course, about a week later with the Apple Card physical unit itself. Number two, it's cool. So credit cards in general might be one of the furthest things from bragging points. Like no one's coming up to you and saying, hey, look at all these credit cards. Although some people will do that, but people don't really talk about their credit cards and they don't show you their credit cards. But with the Apple card, this is something you will want to show people as evident by the amount of social media posts. It's a cool card from a cool company. It's a trendy card and it's a really impressive aluminum thick metal card, which is different than a lot of the other plastic cards out there. The design is sleek, it's elegant, and it's from the biggest company in the world that sells your favorite phone and your favorite watch and your, your favorite computer, at least if you're watching these videos. And inside the app, as you spend money, the colors on the electronic card uh, change. They morph. The gradient morphs with your spending habits. And while I'm not going to say that the color changing on the electronic card on your phone, the gradient changing is going to make you spend more, it's also not going to make you spend less. It's kind of cool and it's kind of satisfying and you might want to use your Apple card versus other cards to get that gradient and see it change because it is pretty satisfying. Number three, it is decent enough to not not get. So it's not a terrible card. It may not blow other cards out of the water, but there's no annual fees and the cashback's okay. So 2% on all purchases that you can use using your phone and Apple Pay. If you use the physical card, it brings it back down to 1%, which isn't great by any means, but it's better than 0%. Additionally, on Apple purchases, so any big iPhone or iPad or any other purchases, you get 3%, which for somebody like me who buys a lot of Apple products, that's nice, and that's definitely the highest I'm going to get on an Apple purchase. Additionally, iTunes and other Apple content, you can get 3%, and things such as Uber and Uber Eats, you can get 3%, even though they've got other systems that you can get more from Uber and Uber Eats, but hopefully other programs and other companies will be joining the 3% train. So again, while it's not amazing rewards, it's not terrible. And so for anywhere that my current credit card gets me less than 2% and that the location accepts Apple Pay, I will be using Apple Pay on my phone to pay and get 2%. For Apple purchases, I'll be getting 3%. But for anything that my current credit card gets me more than 2%, such as gas and uh, dining, then I'll use that. But this is, again, just another credit card that I can use in certain scenarios that fit best. Number four. Uh, it's intuitive, so if you need to check your spending limit or your statement or any other information about it, including your monthly and weekly spending and all that kind of stuff, is right on the app, right on your phone. You don't have to log into any third-party um, accounts or anything like that. You can hook it up to the same bank account that's already existing with your Apple Pay. So I transferred my bank account literally in you know clicking one button, and that was amazing. So if I ever need to check any information about this card, it's right there on the app. There's no website, which means you can't get more in-depth information, but pretty much all you need is right in this simple app that doesn't require any passcodes or anything like that, because once you are on your phone uh, and you have it unlocked, it knows that it is you, hopefully, and most likely. And finally, there's just a couple other nice things. If you need support, you can text and get real-time support 24-7, which is great. Uh, the credit card number on the physical card is hidden, so no one's going to steal that. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, and while that can be a nuisance for entering your card online, um, it's just in the app if you want to check out and get your credit card number. 
um, or you can just memorize it or enter it somewhere else. So at the end of the day, you know this isn't um, the best card out there and it might not be for many people, but for anybody who makes a lot of Apple purchases or for anybody that just really likes their Apple experience and the Apple ecosystem and knows that they're staying on their iPhone, this is a cool card. It looks cool, it functions well, it's very, very convenient and intuitive, um, and it's not terrible in terms of the rewards either. So if you're somebody who is responsible with your credit and you know that you can use a credit card efficiently, this is a fun credit card and I will be using it for the things that my credit card gets me less than 2% on and of course for my Apple purchases. That's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Apple card. Do you have it? Do you trust yourself with it or not? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.